what is going on guys welcome back to another top five designs where today we are going to be taking a look at bathroom designs now guys all of these designs are done in vanilla minecraft with absolutely no world edit and are purely for your guys's inspiration so guys i hope you enjoy and let's get straight into the designs so here we are with the very first design now this design is a traditional slash modern style bathroom and it is built by joey now when you first walk into this room you may notice the style of the walls now the walls are very white but they have a slight different feature to it now if you look over here these walls are all the different combinations of quartz blocks and i think it looks absolutely great if we look at the top we have a sidewards pillar core and then we have the vertical pillar core and then we have the regular quartz blocks and then we have the chiseled quartz block and i think it makes a very very nice wall design now if we start on the left hand side of the bathroom right here we see that we have a unit over here with a his and hers sink with a nice shelf right above it that's hanging down with some iron bars and then on the shelf you can put some carpets or chests or something like that i think that looks very very nice as kind of like a side unit and then over here we just have some foliage or some plants used as extra lighting because we have a beacon underneath it and then at the back here we have a nice window with some shades at the top with the use of banner and some detail added on there with a flower pot now on this side of the room this is where we get right into the bathroom where we have the nice looking shower over here i think the shower looks absolutely awesome usually you see a shower connected to a bath or something like that but i like this one it's kind of like a standalone shower right there with the glass panes covering around the shower and you have the upside down stairs adding this little detail at the top and at the bottom if we go into the shower we have a nice shower head right there using cobblestone and an iron trap door and then added some extra detail in the shower by putting some stairs around here just to add some indents into the wall and putting some stairs at the bottom right there to add like a seat for the shower so you can sit down in there too um, if we move along to this side over here we have a, ur a urinal and i think that looks absolutely great something you don't really see in most bathrooms but i think this looks awesome and then we have a hook over here where you'd hang your robe or something before you go and get in the shower and if we move along over to this bit we have the toilet and i like the way it's kind of closed off in this little section right here and it's a very nice simple toilet design with an upside down stairs with a banner on the back and then we have a custom head for the toilet paper and then a toilet cup uh, brush holder thing down there using a flower pot now guys i think this bathroom came together very well nice choice of blocks for the theme of it using all the different styles of quartz mixing and matching putting it together and i think it looks absolutely great so moving on to the second design guys and this is more of a victorian style bathroom and it is built by luis now the first thing you may notice when you come to this bathroom is the color scheme once again it's a very dark color scheme but things do match very nicely in this room so if we start over here on the right hand side we have the toilet area and this is again a very different toilet design right here just made a little bit bulkier we've got two upside down stairs right there and we've got a quartz block at the back with a banner on it and then a button on top for the flush and then at the side we have the custom heads just to add that extra little bit of detail for the toilet paper and stuff like that added a nice little shelf above it with a brewing stand just to add some extra detail to the room and over here we have a ladder feature right here it kind of kind of unique um put it in the room you add some nice features to your wall and stuff like that and it kind of looks like some sort of custom painting or just just some extra detail to the wall which i think looks absolutely great if we go to the opposite side of the room over here this is the sink area and the cabinet unit it. and we at the top here we have the buttons that represents the cabinets and then we have the sink which has a trip wire there for the tap right there and we've got some leaves on top just to add some extra little bit of detail if we go into the corner over here we have a nice shower design with some upside down stairs at the top and then the shower goes down half a block in here and this is where you would shower it has a very different shower head right up here we have a hopper with some levers pointing into it slightly different to the usual design but i think it works very well and then this here we have like a sponge so you grab your sponge off the wall and then have a shower um over in this bathroom over here we have a little closet area so if we look in this closet right here we have some banners so this is where you put your robes 
put your towels or all kinds of bathroom supplies in here it's nice to add different kind of rooms or different little sections to your rooms so you could just change up the shape so the room isn't just a full square and it looks kind of different when you add these kind of things to it I think this bathroom came together very nicely and it looks awesome so moving on to the third design guys and this is a modern style bathroom and it is built by mr. Skullman. now as you first walk into this room guys you may notice this main focal point in the room and it is this very big luxurious bath right here with a nice skylight right above it the things I like about this is using the pillared quartz in the wall just to add that extra bit of like definition to make it the main focal point and we have this nice flat screen TV made out of custom maps on that area right there and it's just a nice big bath one unique thing about this room to make this bath look the way it does is they've used snow slabs for the floor so I think this goes up about four or five layers of snow slabs and it makes the bath look like this kind of low-lying bath and it has a nice effect and if we look to the either side of the bath right here we have some shelves with, with some hanging banners to represent robes or towels and we have some hooks over here where you can hang your robes and towels as well and if we go back to the front of the room here here's where we have the toilet and the shower if we look at the shower right here using banners as a curtain so you can shut the shower curtain and stuff like that if we walk in here we have a nice shower design uh, we're using trap doors as a shower head with an iron bar right there looking like it's holding up the shower head and then we have the button down here to turn on the shower and this is a very nice shower design and on the opposite side we have a similar design to the room on this side but this is a toilet you, again using the banners for the curtains and you've got a different style toilet right here with the use of the snow slabs you're able to to produce something a little bit different like with this you can see the toilet is kind of low lying and that is just a full size block but the snow slabs make it look like a half block and then you've got a banner at the back and you've got a nice looking toilet design I like this design I think it looks very grand something you'd see in a mansion or something like that and I think it came out very very nice so moving on to the fourth design guys and this design is a traditional style bathroom and it is built by Epica and myself and the main thing we wanted to go with this bathroom we wanted to add a bit of color so as you can see by the walls we added some blue clay um, and at the bottom of the wall just to add that extra bit of detail we added the pillar quartz and I think it looks very very nice now if we start on the left side of the room we have the unit right here with the sink and some cupboards up above to add that extra little bit of detail to the cupboards we've added some stairs in there just to add some little indent so it looks like shelving and stuff like that and over by the sink we've added a custom head so that is like a soap and then we have a banner at the bottom here with a different design on it to make it look like a custom towel now if we look on the right side over here we have a nice shower design now this is kind of indents into the wall we've added some trap doors on the side here to add some shelving and we have a custom sponge head right there so it's a sponge where they can wash themselves and we've used a trip wire for the shower head again you can use trip wires for many different things you can use them for taps you can use them for shower heads they look absolutely great and over here we have a item frame with a button behind it and then inside the item frame we have a piece of red carpet to represent the button that you turn on the shower and make it hot for the hot water that is what the red carpet represents and this shower kind of goes down a little bit just to catch the water and then we have a drain right here with a iron trap door I like that shower I think it came out very nicely if we move on to this area over here we have a bath now this is a very simple bath just made out of stairs wrapping around each other and then we have a lever here for the tap and then we have just like a floating toy or something there at the end of the bath and a little seat over here and then to finish this area off we have the toilet and a nice little shelf right there again very simple toilet design with a stair and a banner and then a custom head for the toilet paper now if we go over here we have a little closet area again and then in this closet closet it's a similar to one that we saw before with some shelving and just some hanging towels and some robes or something like that once again guys it's nice to mix up the shapes of your room by adding little closets in like that and then you get a nice unique shape because otherwise this room would have just been a plain square but once you add little closets and things like that you get a nice shape to your room I'm very happy with how this room came out I think it looks nice especially with the color scheme that we went for 
So here we are with the fifth and final design guys and this is a modern style bathroom and this is built by myself. Now what I wanted to do with this bathroom, I wanted to kind of have a luxurious kind of bathroom, something that you'd see in a mansion. And what I decided to do with this, I start, decided to make the bath area the main point of the room. So what I decided was to have this kind of step up area so it goes straight to the bath because again with the slow, snow slabs you can make the bath look like this low lying bath in the floor and I think I think it looked very very nice very grand using these kind of step up idea but I didn't think that was enough so what I wanted to do was add a big window at the back that's all closed in so no one can see you but it's got a nice scenery outside so when you're laying in the bath you can look out the window and I think this area of the room over here came off very very nicely I also wanted to use a different style of block for the wall something that I've never used before so I decided to go with polished diorite with snow and pillared quartz and I think it's a very nice wall combination combination right here now if we move on to the back side of the room right here we have the shower now this is a nice shower just very simple it just goes back into the wall using the glass panes as a sliding door and then we've got an iron bar as the handle and for the shower head up here we have an iron bar with a trap door and then we have a drain again right there with a button to turn on and off the shower and we also have some banners over here just to represent some towels when you go in and out of the shower now we've got a little room right here and this little room here is the top toilet area so it's nice and closed off from the rest of the bathrooms so we have a nice toilet design if you look at this toilet guys it's slightly different we have an upside down stair with a pressure plate on top that is an iron pressure plate and at the back we have a custom map which kind of represents the lid to the toilet and the flusher right there I think it's nice I've never seen a design for a toilet like this before it's something that I wanted to try out something a little bit different we've got a little rug there and a custom head for the toilet brush holder and a toilet paper right there and on this side we have a little sink design with a banner for a mirror and then a tap and a shelf above it right there now if we go over to this side of the room right here this is the area with the sinks um, slightly different design once again we have a nice cabinet at top but if you look at the design we have the his and hers sink and behind the trap the trip wires we have item frames and in them item frames we have a blue and a red wall and that is to represent the hot and cold taps and then on the front of the sinks we have again the custom banner designs to represent the towels and a nice rug in the middle of the room just to finish it all off now I was very happy with how this design came out it took me a while to get to this actual point I was testing out a lot of things but in the end I think it does look very luxurious very modern and I think it came out very very nice so there we go guys there are all the bathroom designs i hope you got tons and tons of inspiration from these bathroom guys take aspects from each room to create your own bathrooms make sure you put in the comment which bathroom today was your favorite one and also guys if you create any of your own designs make sure to tweet them at me at bigs 87 x but guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you again in another top five designs now this is a modern style office and this one is built by myself now what i wanted to do here guys is go for a modern feel design but not make it too minimalistic because modern style can be very minimalistic sometimes but i wanted to keep the modern style but just add some more features to it so the room